Ja, en een van de eerste prioriteiten van Obama is de strijd tegen de wapenlobby. En die strijd heeft op het ogenblik een averechtseffect. Er is namelijk een heuse stormloop bezig op de wapenwinkels, waardoor sommige handelaars nu al zo goed als heel hun voorraad voor dit jaar hebben verkocht. Onze nieuwe correspondent in Amerika, Tom van de Wegen, trok naar een wapenwinkel vlakbij Baltimore in de staat Maryland. This is the 9mm. The atmosphere is frenzied. You know, uh, people used to come in with a specific item in mind that they wanted to buy, and now the, it's, they'll take anything. As we walked in, we thought our kids will not believe what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get over it. They'll get over it. <laughs> They'll be next in line. <laughs> when you put the bullets in here, if you pull back on that and let it go, it'll... We need to know that we at least can protect ourselves. Because the police, if they're called, we'll do a triage, and they might not come to our house in time to help us. You know, even the 22 market uh, has been cleaned out. You know, anything that looks like a high capacity 22 caliber gun has been taken. We have a few hunting long range, deer hunting and uh, big game hunting guns available. The handguns, as you can see from the open cases, uh, I'm down probably 75% of what I normally would carry in, in stock in guns. It's been business the last four weeks has been like nothing we have ever seen before in our lives. I don't trust the government. They look at something to look good and get reelected, but they don't try to solve the problem. Yeah, I think they're trying to do something quick as opposed to do something that's going to be effective in the long run. And in the meantime, they'll take away our rights. And it's like, woo, I'm not going to lose them. Every time a politician opens his mouth, more people buy guns. So they are fueling the fire. Yes, indeed. Somebody used it in a school shooting and it looks mean. So let's ban them. So we gotta have one. <laughs> what do you think? You think it's in pretty good shape? Yeah, it's it's been shot a good bit, but it's not in bad shape. It's not beat up. Okay. So how, how do you explain this this thing about guns? Why why you like it so much? I don't know. I like lots of loud things. I like fast cars and tractor trailers and big pipes on them and I don't know, we're Americans like big loud things, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the generation of 60-year-olds grew up with cowboys and cowboy action shooting and, and stuff, and they had six guns. The next people grew up watching Vietnam, and those people are familiar. Any military guy is familiar with an AR-15. That's what he used in the military. So that's what he's familiar with. You know, it's not like... They invented something new. They're just picking up the military style or the cowboy style guns that that they grew up with. You know, I don't know that it's going to change one iota of of what happens. Crazy is crazy. Paperwork on another one? Yeah, I did. I don't think it's going to change anything because uh, I, I don't, I'm not big on politics. But if you take away people's guns then they can never defend themselves and uh, we'd just be all victims. So, yeah, that's how but, I feel. But what about background check? You, you, you've oh, been yeah, checked yeah. for this? And yeah, that? I gotta wait for it. I can't take it home now. That's correct, that's, right? Yep. Same as a handgun, about, right? Two yep, weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. They've got me on paper all the time. I've got background checks for all my guns. It's <laughs> money. Yeah. I think people are probably overreacting. Um, I think there will be some changes. 
Uh, I think I think the high-capacity magazine issue is up for debate. Hopefully, the gun shows and the background checks issue will change. Hopefully, monitoring mental health will change. Um, I'm not sure as far as, as firearm ownership itself how that will change. Uh, there's too many people that believe in, in the Second Amendment and use firearms for the right purposes for sporting, for target shooting, for home protection, for self-defense. Uh, so I don't believe we're going to have an issue where we're going to have things like that outlawed. Uh, but I, I do believe some changes are coming, and I, and I do believe uh, the, the, the general conversation in the United States has changed. As far as what Obama does, I don't agree with it, but, you know, majority rules, right? That's the way our country works. So three more years, well, three and a half, four, whatever. What the answer is, I don't know. I'm just just a lonely gun salesman trying to make his dollar. And these days, it's more than a dollar. It's the same dollar, but we're just doing a whole lot more of them.